On Saturday, um, along with prototyping, Controls was able to work a lot with, again, making Controls boards for testing. So um, some of the new members were able to wire up boards and actually, on a test robot, um, wire things up and see how things are going for testing-wise. Um, along with that, for safety, we did another cool thing. We actually made a safety glasses checkout board. So um, people who at the team or in the team forgot their safety glasses for some reason or they don't fit over their glasses or whatever happens they can check out a safety glass a pair of safety glasses from the team which is super cool i think that was super fun to make um as of the past few days we've been just taking inventory with the battery so um for the terminals on the battery we've been fixing things up making sure everything's in good condition so we can get the robot and start doing I think. Alright, so week three programming has been up to a lot. Uh, Charlie has been working on manipulating our prototypes and focusing on some talent stuff. Uh, Zed and I have been working on drive code and autonomous and Matthew and DeRace have been working on vision. Right now vision's focus is picking up cubes, giving us information about positions of cubes, so how far they are and such and helping us follow paths. So right now you're setting up autonomous? Autonomous, yep. So how's that going? How's the setup for the competition going? Um, right now we're just doing some basic stuff like crossing the line and returning in case that's necessary and uh, working on some fine tuning for snapping to angles and just general go to position PIDs. Week three has been going good. Prototyping and iterations are great. Um, we're through several iterations of a couple of our sub-assemblies. Um, we're hoping to get everything built. Hopefully our drive base is built within the next day, day and a half. Um, we're going to start mounting the prototypes, see if they work together, how they work together, um, see if anything can be fixed. Um, we're also going to be checking on dimensioning, obviously, and we have a few people that are working on specific things, and it's really helping us get things done as fast as possible. I'm looking forward to going to competitions and getting the experience for the first time and also being able to see other teams' robots. The thing that I'm looking forward to most this year is the last week of build season when we're rushing to get everything done, but the robot is really coming together and we have everything being finalized at that point and we're getting ready for competition and we have that anticipation um, on the horizon. I'd say that my favorite retro game is probably Donkey Kong. Is it cliche to say Pac-Man? No, Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong. I didn't really play too many retro games, but I think out of the ones I have played, I like Space Invaders a lot. Probably the only one I played, which is Donkey Kong Jr., which is on the original arcade console that my dad has in our basement for some reason. Honestly, I think the only retro game I've ever played is Pac-Man, so I'm going to go with that. Um, Favorite yeah. modern game? Huh? Favorite modern game? Modern game? Mario? <laughs> I don't play games. Mario Kart. <laughs> Mario Kart's a good game. Um, oh, also that like Super Mario Super Bros. Nintendo. Super Mario Bros. on the Nintendo is pretty good. I used to play that when I was like 10 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I would just like to clarify that she did indeed call whatever handheld it is, she, she did in fact just call it a Nintendo. Nintendo, right? Nin is that how you say it? Nintendo. It's Nintendo? Oh my god. Nintendo? How do you say it? I don't know how to say it.
Hi vlog, it's Stephanie. Make some place for I'm just gonna stretch my arm right there. We gotta make space for that world saw better. Yeah, woo! Look out there. Wow, it says worlds. Worlds. Oh, Candy, put that away on your screen. We're not allowed to see that just yet. Yeah. Here is our robot. Yes. Cut. Explain to me how this works on the field. Okay, so we put this out there. We turn it on. It kind of drives around, picks up the cube, puts it in the switch. Or no, that's a scale. Puts All the of that with just this beautiful, complex See, design. See, that's what's going to make us win. It's about design simplicity, you know? Wow. Simplicity design is a strong design. Blog, you'll be seeing him on Forbes magazine someday. Yeah. Someday. I'm talking next week. Next week. Here's Anudeep so, with this thing he's thinking. Wow, robots. Look at the work robot make do. No, stop. Wow. Who are you now? Oh, he's nice at. All right, everyone, let's do a face together on here. Everyone say bye vlog on three. One, two, three. Bye Adios, vlog. vlog. <laughs>